Hello, Jane. We're continuing the dry story. That's the story of the weather, really, for the rest of the month, the rest of this week, I was going to say. We do have some sunshine. Now, that sunny picture an hour or so ago was taken in Llandidno in Conwy County. But it's dry even where we've got largely cloudy skies. Well, mostly dry. And as you can see here, up in East Lothian, it's a little cloudier. But we've only had, for England and Wales in particular, this April, 40 to 50% of the rainfall we'd normally see. But it follows on from a dry March, only about 60% of the normal rainfall throughout March for the whole of the UK. And there's little sign of any rain for the rest of the week and the month. Hello, good afternoon. Rain has been in very short supply this month. We saw some showers yesterday, but it does now look dry as we head through the rest of this week. Just the very small chance that some of the cloud at times will produce a light shower or two. This morning, a chilly start to the day. Lots of blue sky and sunshine around there is captured by our weather watcher here in Greenwich. Some beautiful colours as photographed too in Richmond. There is more cloud building as we head through this afternoon, but still some bright, some limited sunny spells around at times. Times. What's this about another bank holiday? Well, there are calls. So we've got an extra bank holiday over the Jubilee on mm. the Friday. Um, and there are calls for us to keep it permanently as a recognition of the Queen's Wonderful idea. long... I know, isn't it glorious? However, there's a slight fly in the ointment because the Prime Minister has sort of said, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, big fat, oh. mm -hmm, basically, at the moment. Because apparently it's going to cost £2 billion, the economy £2 billion, to have an extra bank holiday. Wow. So what we need is some really wealthy person to just donate to the entire country. <laughs> I know you're out there. Come on, let us know about it. Right, anyway, enough about that. Let's take a look at the weather. Here we go. Hello again. Well, after yesterday's gorgeous woodpecker, take a look at this. Little robin feeding its little darling. Very grumpy darling, I might say. Looks like it definitely uh, rolled out of the wrong side of the nest, didn't it, uh, when it woke up this morning. Anyway, very cold starts at the moment. We have got, as we go through the week, a risk of some patchy frost around with these cold nights. But by day, some nice sunny spells mixed in with some cloud coming and going. So a bit of a combination there, but it should stay dry uh, over the next few days. Hi, George. Thanks. Well, today has been a largely dry day again, but the amount of sunshine you've seen has varied quite a bit from place to place. The sunniest weather had been across the south and the west. This was Cornwall hanging on to the best of the day's sunshine. But on the satellite picture, you can see cloud coming down the North Sea, but also kind of bubbling up across England and Wales and then spreading out across the skies. We've got more of that to come as well in the forecast for the next few days. Underneath the cloudier skies across uh, some of our North Sea coasts, it's been a good deal cooler. Temperatures around 8 degrees Celsius as opposed to 17 that we got in those sunnier moments across South Wales and Southern England. More sunshine, I hope. Well, not quite so much, I don't think, as we head through the rest of the week. I'm going to use the word dry quite a lot in today's forecast, I've got to say. Um, a very dry month so far. Yesterday we saw some showers. That's the first appreciable rainfall since the beginning of April. But now it does look dry for the rest of the week. Lots of sunshine around today, of course, as we've said. A um, bit more fair weather cloud through the afternoon, but some lovely, colourful weather watcher pictures coming in. Some really beautiful pictures around today. Now, for the rest of the week, yes, high pressure dominates. It's dry, but there will be a lot more in the way of cloud than we've seen today. Still some rather chilly nights, so gardeners take note. We could see a little touch of frost here and there. I wouldn't totally rule that out. Temperatures go up slightly on Thursday, 15 degrees Celsius. The high is going nowhere for the time being. So Friday is looking really very similar indeed. There it is just batting away those weather systems out towards the west. Things could get a little bit warmer over the weekend, 16 or 17 degrees. Again, it's dry. There will be some sunshine at times. Now, Britain is in bloom, isn't it? Just look around. Experts saying it's been a particularly good year for tulips, my favourite. They are out in full colour right across the country and they could be around for a while yet, thanks to the current spell of dry weather. And Alex is here. Now, this is great news for gardeners and it's also great for florists, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's fairly good news all round. And I'm definitely one of those amateur gardeners who had an attempt at growing some tulips this year and they actually turned out all right. But nothing like the pictures I am about to show you. Yes, this is Kings Lynn near Norfolk, a farm where they have 28 acres of land which is turned into a 
carpet of tulips, 14 million to be precise. And they are in full bloom at the moment. And the reason they've lasted this long is because of the cool nights and also the dry weather that we've seen through much of April, where we've seen uh, kind of below average rainfall. Uh, so a beautiful scene here. All money raised at this site actually going towards the uh, hospice there in Norfolk. So a great cause. I can tell you, if you're hoping to go tomorrow, it's actually closed, so don't. As for the good run of dry weather, well, it's all looking pretty good for us across the UK. High pressure is in control. That's actually diverting weather fronts to the north and also to the south. So that's why they're seeing more unsettled weather across much of uh, Europe at the moment. But it's also kind of keeping the slightly warmer air away from us. However, temperatures are still respectable and they have been above average over the last few days. So we'll still see those highs peaking at around 17, maybe 18 degrees Celsius by the time we get to the weekend. Well, let's take a closer look at that high pressure, which is firmly in control. It's sat very comfortably across the British Isles at the moment, and that's the reason for the largely dry day today. Certainly a good deal of sunshine from the Wurgo, though this afternoon we saw the cloud bubbling up in places, but on the whole, all looking pretty good. So dry and fine for the foreseeable, that'll do. Yeah. More sunshine to come. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed, Alex. And with high pressure with us for what remains of April, for most it stays dry. It's just the far northwest, Scotland and Northern Ireland, where we may see some appreciable rain before the end of April. But some sunshine today we had across Northern Ireland more than yesterday. And under the clear skies overnight, it's going to be chilly here as well, a touch of grass frost around certainly. So it's chilly air coming in, we could have a bit more breeze on the south coast as well. But that might alleviate the high pollen levels, they're looking more moderate for the day tomorrow. But for tree pollen sufferers, still significant I expect.